Now that we've printed our plastic housing, we're going to use a little inexpensive glass bead. You can buy these online for about a penny each. When you combine a modern smartphone with a 400-year-old design for a microscope, you get a very inexpensive, small device capable of detecting anthrax or simply looking closer at a bug or a leaf. There was a scientist, his last name was Leeuwenhoek, and he was really a pioneer in getting a very small handheld microscope and it was really the first time that people were able to see things at a high magnification. And he achieved that using a small spherical glass bead as his first model. Researchers at the U.S. Department of Energy's Pacific Northwest National Laboratory did the same thing, creating a small housing for the beads on a 3D printer. The resulting designs can be made from pennies worth of plastic and glass materials. So we have three different magnifications now. We have 100x, a 350x and a 1000x and we've also made different versions that will fit multiple phones. We've found that the iPhone 5 provides a more optimal picture but it is capable of functioning on multiple smartphones and tablets. PNNL researchers working in national security were looking to develop a tool for first responders, say when a suspicious white powder is discovered. So the hazmat team uh, would arrive at the scene and they could take a little bit of the sample, put it in a Ziploc bag, and then use the, use the microscope to image right through that bag. And then the image could be sent to a trained microbiologist sitting you know, in a lab across the country. It would allow decisions in the field to be made more quickly, and at the other end of the spectrum, be a great tool to inspire students' interest in science. I think for education it gives opportunity to, the, to all sorts of different backgrounds, be it elementary school all the way up to high school, and even just a career scientist too. The ability to look at microscopic organisms easily without having a big bulky microscope is a beautiful thing. PNNL is making the designs available online so that anyone with access to a 3D printer, including school districts, can make their own microscopes.